Okay guys, we're out here uh, pan testing a BBI Liberty and <clears throat> one of the very first starting points that you need to do is find the product that you're going to be running and get you a fertilizer density scale and that is what this is right here and I've taken it and I have filled it with fertilizer and you can use this for any product, cover crops or whatever, just fill this with the product that you're running, hold it up in the air with this ring and I better turn this around here so you can see it. Slide this out here to where it's even and then move it until that bubble is pretty level. You come this, this way. So about right here right there where that thing is pretty level. See that? Mm -hmm. We determined that our density was around 67 pounds. And why is that important? Let's come back here and show you how and why. That is important because how we gauge our rate on this app, on this spreader, is how much fertilizer can fit through that square hole on our gate height setting. And what we do is we come over here to this chart and we find our material density. That's what we just did. Call it just shy of 70. If we want to put on 225 pounds, we need to set our gate height at number three. So when we come over here, if you look, Cody, your gate height setting is right there. If you can see those numbers, you take this out and you adjust the gate height to the setting that you want and that is a cubic foot measurement and we know that at x cubic foot with a certain density product with our ground drive tire we're going to fit x amount of pounds of product through that size so that's how the mechanicals work you find your, the density of your product first look at the chart to see how big of a gap we're going to have to achieve your target rate and then you set your gate height and that is driven by the ground drive tire. So those are the first few steps in getting your BBI mechanical spreader or any spreader, whether it's ISO or mechanical, is with one of these uh, density scales. So now we're gonna show you how to choose the correct uh, sprockets for fertilizer or lime on your BBI Liberty. On a ground drive mechanical, you've got two sets of sprockets. You've got a 60 tooth back here on the back, and then you've got a 45 tooth, if you can see the 45. Now, right here in the book, it shows you that the standard rates for fertilizer, you're gonna use the 60. On high rates, mainly lime, you're gonna be using the 45. So it lays it out really well right here in the book, and I have got them labeled right here, you can see, 60 tooth fertilizer. So we're doing fertilizer today. So a big thing is to make sure that you're using the right sprocket combination. And then if you need to use lime, you need to remember to change these over here to this lime sprocket that gives you the capability of doing higher rates. So that's how you're gonna make sure your sprockets are correct on your mechanical BBI Liberty. Okay, so we have determined the density of our product already using a density scale. We have determined our gate height based on this chart over here on the side. So we've got our, our density, we've got our rate set by our gate height because it's a mechanical uh, spreader. We are on the correct sprocket because there's a fertilizer and a lime sprocket. And now one of the final steps is uh, the flow divider setting. And this piece right here is your flow divider. And what it does is it changes where this fertilizer comes down and hits these spinners when they spin, which changes how flat your pattern is. So this can be threaded in or, or out to adjust that. So if you thread it in, it puts more product in behind the spreader. If, it, if you thread it out, it throws more out to the end of your pattern. And that is the purpose of the pan test is to make sure that you get a flat pattern and then your adjustments are made here. In the book, it tells you some starting point 
flow divider settings. For fertilizer, three and a half and use the insert. For lime, one and remove the insert. The insert is this stainless cover that is used for fertilizer, but is, it is not used for lime. So your gauge for one through four is set right over here on the edge, and you basically can thread this in and out to change your flow divider setting. So that is how you adjust your flow divider to get a perfect even pattern. Okay, so the final step in getting your BBI ready to pan test and head to the field is your spinner speed. Now with an ISO uh, rate controller spreader, your spinner speed is read digitally up on your screen. So it's pretty easy. Adjust your uh, RPMs or your spinner speed knob up on the front to get your desired speed. But on these mechanicals, uh, they have PTO spinners, and so we just need to, at fertilizer, spreading 80 feet wide, you have an RPM of that, and at 60 feet wide, it's 650, and at lime, it's 600 to 650. So that is set by a couple things. You can either use a tachometer and read the RPMs of this shaft, or your tractor, based on your PTO, whether it's 1,000 or 540, should have a line to run your PTO, and that is where you would run it. So we need to make sure that we're running our uh, spinner speed RPMs according to our width, because the spinner speed controls how wide of a pattern we're throwing.